What's going on guys, Zach Avnesh here, and in this video I'm gonna show you ways to warm up your knees before a lower body workout. Here we go. For me, is I'm building athletes, I'm building athleticism. These kids gotta put on muscles. Alright team, step one, something that I do often at home in my uh, office down in the basement, I have body tempering and foam rolls nearby and compression bands. So I'm going to compress over the knee and also above and below it. Some people when they do these compression bands, they do not go on the knee, they just kind of go um, above and below it. So basically what we're doing is constricting the tissue and so when we take it off uh, it pushes out kind of the old blood and brings in new blood because the body the area felt like it was being choked and uh, what does blood bring oxygen nutrients pushes out dead cells so I've had four knee surgeries thank you to wrestling we age in dinosaur years and this knee gets a little bit cranky and so I'll use as many different modalities as possible to get my knee feeling good. Sleds, if you've been watching, you see me do them all the time, upper body, lower body. Today, we're gonna do compression, body tempering, and we've got the bands set up for Spanish squats. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna body temper with the lighter roller. This lighter roller is about uh, 60 or 65 pounds. So I'm doing compression and body tempering. These I had custom made. Can't really bend my leg too much with the compression band on, which is fun. You could handle it for a few minutes. And what we're gonna do is, Donnie Thompson invented this. He says we're gonna diffuse the tissue. Okay, so what we're doing is we're loading it horizontally. Whereas, where do we normally load our body? Vertically, you're standing up, you're squatting, you're deadlifting. So this basically like opens it up. You know, the famous saying is, we don't know what the science is, but we feel better after we do it. Okay. And as you get older, you want to use as many tools and tricks to get your body to feel strong. And I'll do both legs. This morning I actually did this uh, with the 80 pound uh, roller from Rogue. Left leg is 100%, right leg is wonky since it's had the four surgeries. Find those tight areas, kind of dig in and we call this throttling. Okay, it's like moving a throttle. Right leg gets a little extra TLC. Sometimes you just let it sit there. You let the weight do the work. I like to do this before I train, I'll do it after I train. And then some days if I'm run down, I won't train, but I will use body tempering, which is a form of strength training. I'm loading the tissue. So just in a different manner. So there's a lot of ways to get strong. So now we'll set up here. So Spanish squats helps with tracking. Um, you know, we could do terminal knee extension, TKE, where the band is behind the knees. And then with the Spanish squat, I'm now gonna squat and it starts helping with alignment, okay? Pulling your tibia forward, aligning the patella. Donnie Thompson uses these and loads them down. When I get to the top, I flex and extend the legs, okay? Helping with the tracking. Get a nice locked leg there. And you could hang out here in the bottom if you want to. These are heavier bands, so it's hard to move back because it's gonna pull me forward. So you just gotta find that spot. And these feel really good. Lock the legs, flex. The other thing is make sure your knees and toes are aligned. If the toes naturally go out, I want your knees to go out and track with the two big toes. We wanna try to be as much Toes forward as possible, but it's natural to have about five degrees out. 
So right here, I'm just locking out like a TK terminal knee extension. And then we could hold. Isometrics are excellent for building strength and healing tissues. And there you go, team. Those are three things I want you to implement to help you with warming up the knees and preparing yourself before a leg training session, deadlifts, squats, step ups, lunges. So to recap, compression. Number two, body tempering. Number three, Spanish squats. What's going on team? Zach Evanesh here from the Manasquan Underground Strength Gym. Thank you for following, watching, subscribing, and supporting all the videos I put out. I wanna give you some information on ways that you could follow through and take it the next step. We've got many links below in the info section of every YouTube video. We've got things like the Underground Strength Academy, which is my membership site, which has been growing strong since February of 2005. There are thousands of videos, whether it's seminars that were recorded, training footage, behind the scenes uh, video footage from the underground. I'm talking about videos and underground strength movies that are 20 to 30 minutes in length. Pretty much all my training courses are in there, audio interviews for strength coaches on training and business. It's just packed. We've also got the certifications, underground strength coach certification or the SSPC certification, which is the strength and sports performance coach certification. Last but not least, if you just want the training, go with Gladiator Strong or any of my standalone training programs Link below in my store. Gladiator Strong is on Train Heroic. And uh, like I said, all the links are below. Appreciate you uh, coming through and watching me from wherever you are in the world. Drop a comment on this video. Let me know where you're watching from. Love to hear from you. And again, much respect. Keep kicking ass, taking names. No easy day. Boom.